My name is John Costa and I'm a documentarian. So I run the Documentary Media Centre, which is somewhere where the intersection of documentary film, photography, audio and new media all kind of comes together. And then it's presented to different types of audiences to try and think about some of the global issues that we've got and maybe some of the solutions that we can actually bring to this as well. There's nothing more challenging and rewarding than bringing an empty space to life to do something providing an immersive experience for someone and they walk out and you can see on their faces you've given them permission to be interested in that or do something or take some action or try that again. That's the best feeling in the world. I think I express my creativity by putting on events and then standing up the front and waving my arms about. One of my main influences growing up would have been my mamma. You know, I mean, she'd... Uh, uh, been in the army, you know, and sort of, you know, saw the value of military service, um, was very patriotic, you know, I mean, she, I can always remember she was always buying, whenever there was a royal wedding, she was always buying like, you know, thimbles and tea towels and dolls and books and stuff like that. And I think that my interest in the world and, and a lot of the countries that I'm interested in now came from her passion around um, you know engaging people in conversation and finding out about where they came from so that kind of being a journalist that wrapped like cunning and being nosy and being sort of mildly good at what I do is uh, one of those things. Though. I think sometimes life's about you know you've got to be you've got to be out there doing it and sort of trying different things and sometimes it doesn't always work um, and sometimes it, it's not just falling over and getting up it's that kind of life-changing experience as well so I spent some time uh, in prison which was one of those experiences where you suddenly realize that literally is the bottom and it's what you're going to do next and I think what I really learned uh, in there um, is you have to be very kind of comfortable with yourself you know what I mean you've got to be able to spend time on your own so I remember doing a lot of thinking thinking you know what was I going to do next um, it definitely was a defining moment in my life where you suddenly think, well, whatever happens next is, that will always be there. And that was sort of 11 years ago. What's the fuel behind my fire? I think it's the fact that things don't need to be the way they are. Um, you know, no one needs to be exploited. No one needs to be taken advantage of. No one needs to dig stuff out the ground and not replace it. No one needs to cut stuff down without replacing it. There's, there's a solution to every problem that it comes with. You know, we need to do this. You know, we need to kill that because someone thinks it's great there. Uh, I think yeah, that, that's what that, it, I'm angry about it. And it's angry to the point where I know I can do something about it. So therefore you have to. I think the aim of what I do is just to get people to fall back in love with the world. The world needs you. There we go, that's my, my t-shirt. <laughs>